meteorologist Casanova Nurse joins us there live. Cassie spent the day talking with marine specialists about how they're preparing. What's going on down there? Well, the efforts are still getting underway as far as the planning stages go on how to deal with any sort of approaching oil, how to protect some of the sea life and animals ahead of that approach, and what's going to be done as far as trying to preserve the habitat. And we are here in Panacea at the Gulf Specimen Marine Lab where a lot of that activity has been taking place for many years, and even without an oil slick, but certainly revving up into higher gear as perhaps it makes its approach in the next few days and weeks. Joining us now is the aquarium manager here. His name is Victor Spencer. And you have an example of one of the animals that you're trying to uh, protect from any sort of uh, endangering oil slick. Yeah, well, this is the horseshoe crabs. Now, the horseshoe crabs, the, the problem we're going to have with these now is they're coming up on the beaches now to lay their eggs. So as the animals come up, if there's an oil slick on the beach coming up through the oil, and the way they get their oxygen is through kind of a, a complex set of book gills here on the abdomen. And cleaning all of these book gills is going to be a tough problem to, to overcome if they're covered with oil, let alone the fact that they're going to be laying their eggs in the sand that will be covered with oil. So it's kind of a, the time of year that things like horseshoe crabs are coming up on the beaches to, to lay their eggs, sea turtles are nesting. When the horseshoe crabs come to the beach to lay, hundreds of, of uh, the shorebirds will come in to feed on the eggs, and they're also going to then be put into the situation where they're going to get oil on their feathers. So it's not just uh, the current animals out there, but it's also breeding animals and the uh, specimens and the organisms that actually feed off of them. That, that's true, and part of the problem will be is things like the horseshoe crabs coming to the beach will attract the birds. So if the horseshoe crabs are coming up on the beach in the oil, the birds will be attracted to come and feed on the eggs. So it will put them into think, an even further uh, dangerous situation for the oil spill. Okay, Victor, thank you very much for your information about the harm that could be done by by the oil to some of the animals, and of course, if there are any more developments from here, we'll certainly bring them to you as the situation develops. Live in Panacea, I'm Chief Meteorologist Casanova Nurse, and back to you. All right.